There's a lot of neat patterns in Vue, and I wanna to talk to you today about one that helps with internal state. And so this is called the controlled props pattern. And what I really like about this is it exposes a way that if you have a component and you have some props in it, that you can expose it from the parent component, but you can still reuse it in a couple different ways. So let me show you an example of how this works. So right here, I have this button here. This is a child component. Anything, Everything inside here is a child component. If I click show banner, it disappears the text. And if I hit it again, it, then it shows the banner in this lorem ipsum text. The way I did this in my mybanner.view file, I have some Tailwind classes here. I have some lorem ipsum text. And then I have uh, a straightforward hidden ref that I'm using. And I have this toggle hidden that just toggles it between true and false. I also have a define props where I pass in a string. And then I have a VF here. You can see here with this click button, it just toggles this hidden on and off using this function here. Now, if you had something like this, let's we can also imagine this to be like an accordion or some other component that you're using where you have some internal state that does something. Uh, you probably wanna have some more functionality with it. So the next thing you probably want is, well, I'm here in this parent component, in this case, app.view, where I'm including this my banner. Maybe I want a way to control this button so I can maybe create my own button at the top of here that does the same thing. So I need some way to grab the internal state of this component. Well, if you're like me, you're probably thinking a prop would make sense. Maybe we have some sort of prop that passes in here that controls this hidden. So let's go ahead and refactor this to use this. And I did a little bit of cheating. I already have a branch here, so I'm gonna check out my other branch. All right, so now I'm in my updated branch and I made a few changes. So here is my click, my toggle hidden is still there. I have this show banner, but now I'm using emits. What's really nice about Vue, I can define my emits. In this case, I'm looking for emits that's click. What it's gonna do is it's going to emit click on this toggle hidden. Every time you click this button, it's passing it up back to the parent component to do something. And in our parent component here, we can see we have now we are declaring the hidden as a ref on the parent component. We're also having the toggle up here in the parent component and we have hidden dot value. And if we come back down here, we're just passing in all this into this component. So we're passing the title, the, the new emit click event, and also the hidden. And so now if we come back here, I added in this new parent button right here called parent button and it just does the click to the toggle which just toggles hidden dot value, which is passed into the my banner. If I click it, it still works. And also the other button works because this is just emitting it back up again. You can imagine now you have tightly coupled this parent component in with this child component. Whenever I need to use my banner anywhere in the app, I need to uh, know that, well, either looking through the props that are coming into here and the emits, I need to actually always define this toggle handle and I always have to pass in this hidden and that can be a little bit of a pain. So let's say we have some components, uh, some places in our app where we just wanna have this banner and we don't necessarily need to control it from the parent component. So how would we do that? So there's two ways that I know of to do this. And Michael Theason, I'll put a link in, his descrip in, in the description here, has come up with one way. He's a great, he has a great article on exactly this. I, I wanna show you kind of what I think maybe a, an easier way, but maybe not the right way for your app. So let's take a look at something called define expose. All right, so I'm back to my original example here. I still have the pair button and the show banner. And if I go to the my banner view, I have it as it was originally we saw. So we have this toggle hidden, it's, it's automatically toggling this hidden value, this ref, and I have this show banner here, have the click. So this is everything you saw originally. And then back in the app view file, we have now this toggle has nothing in it. And then we still have this parent button, it's not doing anything. And we don't have any special props or emits that are passing to my banner. One thing you can do is we're gonna go back to the child component and I'm gonna add in something called define expose. So if we look at the definition define expose in the API docs, it's basically a way that you can get into the script setup, which is normally private by default and publicly expose things inside of it. If you used Vue 2, this is a little bit more common. I saw people using dollar sign refs to go directly into components and then change it. If you try to do that nowadays without define expose and you're using script setup, it actually won't work. So what's really handy about this is we can now expose values from our child component back to our parent component. So in this case, we're gonna say, hey, allow hidden to be exposed. Then if we go back to our app view, we'll, we'll add a ref back in. 
And now we're going to add this banner cop. So if you use template string, template refs inside your app before, this will look very familiar. So we're going to have a ref. It's going to be either null or it's going to have this hidden Boolean. Since we defined this hidden here, it's going to be available. And then we'll default it to null. And our toggle will just be changing it between hidden and not hidden. And the way you can do this, just like with any other uh, template ref, you just need to add it on to here. So in my my banner here, I'm going to add a ref and it's just going to be banner comp. So the name of this in this ref here has to be exactly the same name as the ref up here. And then it'll act as a template ref. And then as long as you define expose it here, you'll have access to hidden. And now TypeScript doesn't work out of the box like this. So I have to manually type it correctly. Otherwise it just won't work. But now it should work. So if I'm going to save this, and now I have this access of going into the parent button and into the show, to the show banner, and it works the same way. And if for some reason in the future, uh, I don't want to use this ref at all, and I don't pass this ref in, and this is used just somewhere else in my app, this show banner button's still going to work. Like it, it's nothing is changed. I don't have to do all that logic in the parent component and pass it in, which makes it much more flexible. Now, the, the last way I want to show you how to do it is with controlled props, the pattern that Michael Theason showed. One thing I think this that does better than this is that really, once you start getting into this pattern of exposing everything on your child components, the, the encapsulation and protection that you have your components kind of gets destroyed a little bit. Like I said, I probably wouldn't use this for every single scenario. You probably don't want to expose everything in your child components to the parent component. I think a lot of people wouldn't even know that this was available unless you had it in the documentation or you looked at the source code for the component. All right, so let me show you what I did here to do a little bit of refactoring to do this control props pattern. So I still have the same parent button show ban banner button. So what we wanna do is we wanna still have the same functionality that you can use this component anywhere that you want and you don't have to necessarily pass in the hidden and the toggle and everything, but you can if you want. Here's the same, I still have the toggle in here, and a button, and then I have this new my hidden, which was going to, which is going to be a computed property I'm gonna create in a moment. So here my script setup, this is the, my banner component by the way I'm gonna create a new ref for underscore hidden and don't worry about the squiggly lines it's just saying that I haven't defined them yet which I'm going to do in a second or haven't used them anywhere and then I'm gonna uh, add the emit just like we did before and now I'm gonna have my new defined props and you can see here a little bit different uh, I have hidden equals undefined I'm going to have my hidden as a boolean title as a string but now I I'm setting as undefined and that will make sense in a moment create a new computed property. And what this is saying is that if hidden is undefined, meaning that you haven't passed in hidden as a prop into this component, then it's going to default to hidden if it's not undefined. Otherwise, it's going to define, it's going to put it to this underscore hidden, which is this other ref I just created. And so what I'll do is I'll have this new toggle hidden. So if it isn't undefined, then I'm going to emit the click, meaning someone did pass the hidden prop in. Otherwise, I'm going to just toggle the hidden value off and on. And since this computed property, uh, we'll see anytime any of these values change, it, this will get updated. So this will get re basically re-rendered or recreated every time any of those change, uh, anytime that anything like that changes. And then inside my app view file, I have right now, I just have what I have before. It kind of looks like the example where we're just passing everything in. And if I come back here and refresh it, everything's still working as 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 I expect, but let's say I don't have this parent button. I'm gonna comment it out. And so I'm just using this as a standalone component by itself. I'm gonna save it. I no longer have the button. Now if I click it, it still works as it did as it did earlier. And so now I've been able to use it without having to know the internals of this button. I also didn't have to add in a defined emits. And so I didn't have to know the internals of the component. I didn't have to do a define expose or create a template ref. Uh, everything is done for me. So I think overall, I've if I was going to, to do this the correct way in a production app, I'd probably go more this style. I think this makes a lot of sense. And it's it, it, you can definitely have very complicated components and use this pattern. If I was doing something very straightforward and I needed to go quickly, I'd probably use the define expose. So let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.